Hi, and welcome to the Bookkeepers podcast. I'm Zoe Whitman. We haven't got Joe Wood today, unfortunately, but I'm very excited to be joined by Sinead McHale from Sotago. Hi, hi, Sinead, how are you doing? I'm great, Joe. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Um, um, so we got you on the show to talk about cash flow and all of those sort of parts about improving cash flow for our businesses. And I think, I, I won't lie, I'll be completely honest, I hadn't really heard of Sotago before and I think and maybe a lot of bookkeepers haven't so I wonder if you want to start by telling us a little bit about what you do and how you support businesses. Yeah so um, we, Satago is an all-in-one cash flow management solution and so we very much kind of started out as a control tool probably like 10 or 12 years ago and then it's evolved into other kind of elements within that cash flow journey so we offer credit control, we offer risk insights which is very much um, a tool to understand who your customer base is. And then on top of that, the last piece of that is the invoice financing, single invoice financing. Um, historically, we'd really kind of worked with accountants, but what we have seen in the last 12 months is that there is a lot more interest coming from um, the bookkeepers kind of um, side of the market. Um, and a huge interest really from bookkeepers at the moment is the kind of credit control piece and how they can implement that i guess in their offering and how they can talk about that to their customer base because it seems to be a nice add-on i guess for the existing services that they do so that um the, the timing i guess of this podcast is is really good it would be great to go into more detail and hopefully answer a lot of those questions that we see coming through from account or from bookkeepers about about Satago. Brilliant. And because I think, well, cash flow is really critical for any business, but I think yeah. that everything that's happened with the pandemic has just highlighted that so much for us. And sometimes it's the kind of thing that we don't really know how to, we don't know how to start that conversation with our clients about how we can support them. Um, mm. So, well, let's go back to the actual service itself. Like how does that work? How does the credit control work? Is this like outsourcing the credit control or does it start with the risk the risk insights what's what so, do you do first i guess so I, I guess going back to what the bookkeeper does so our view would be and based on i'm going to base this on i guess conversations that we've had with bookkeepers that are already using so existing bookkeepers that are using the platform and um, and from our perspective i think bookkeepers are probably closer to the the, the actual business than maybe a lot of accountants or smes know themselves because you know they can see what's happening in real time what's happening in the sales ledger, what's happening like in the creditor ledger, which is really, really key. Um, and so just by having that closeness to the, 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 being that close proximity, I guess, to the daily activity of the business, you kind of get a good sense of what's happening with the business. And you can almost see if the if, if there's a lot of invoices been issued, it means the business is trading well, but equally you're kind of seeing if, if payments are coming in, et cetera. So, um, what we what we've seen in terms of the credit control to what we offer is a fully automated solution. So we connect mm -hmm. into every pretty much every um, accounting software that's out there. So anything that's cloud based, we will connect to it directly. We pull through the debtor book and off the back of that data, then you are able to set up this automated credit control. So essentially, as a bookkeeper, you are able to offer this kind of virtual credit control to your customers. Now. We've seen specifically, I guess, since lockdown and in the last 12 months, there's been a huge increase in demand for that product. And a lot of that has come from bookkeepers. And I think one of the, while they recognize the, the worth and the value of the product, I guess, and to your question earlier, is like, how do they actually pitch it to the customer? Um, mm -hmm. And I think, again, I would say that there's quite an organic conversation because they're so close to what's happening in the business that, you know, they can, they, they can start the conversation with, with, with the SME business owner, you know, I can, can kind of see the invoices that you're creating and see what's kind of happening, what's coming in and out of, of in terms of your, your debtor ledger versus your creditor ledger. So um, why don't we potentially take a look at this, take a look at your debtor book, take a look at the terms that you're putting these customers on, because a huge issue I think that businesses have is that they're so eager to take on new business that they're offering credit terms, but not really thinking about what those credit terms would look like. So if I were to look at the way Satago would fit into this and how a, a bookkeeper could structure that conversation, it's almost kind of going back to the, the beginning and saying, look, for most businesses, cash flow is a really, really concern. That's what keeps you awake at nighttime. 
And often it's more long term stuff. You know, it's like the development and the strategy of the business. But I would say for most businesses, it comes back to the short term. You know, it's the payroll, it's the VAT. Mm -hmm. It's just the unexpected. It could be anything, really, couldn't it? It could be insurance. It could be anything. So I guess what we would say to 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 bookkeepers is it's framing that conversation with the customer to see what they what's keeping them awake at night, what's stressing them most. And it tends to be cash flow. And I think if you can understand the issues that the customer is having, it's very easy then to present a cash flow solution like Satago as a, as an easy solution. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess it, it, it's about helping those businesses avoid the cash flow problems that we've all seen happen in the last kind of like six, 12 months uh, as a result of COVID. And mm -hmm. then it's about taking those learnings and probably you know, learning from them, well, as their learnings, and just implementing what you've learned going forward. So there's a whole series of, um, I guess, um, there's a whole series of, of advice and kind of learnings that we've taken that we would then present to bookkeepers or anyone involved with the SME to try and help to pad out that credit control solution. Okay, so I'm just thinking back to clients that I've worked with in the past. So, um, I remember working with a design agency who pretty much every month would say to me, are we going to be able to pay our payroll yeah. <laughs> or the big quarterly things that would come up VAT is probably those things that were really threw it into focus. You know, VAT bill was coming up or their yeah. rent was coming up every quarter. And those were the times where you would see the directors getting really, really stressed. And I'd be, and I can remember, I can remember once at one point this, company was like really near the bottom of their overdraft and I was like I don't think you're going to be able to pay this you need to make a plan what are you going to do yeah and and I think for a lot of bookkeepers uh the process is the getting the bookkeeping up to date so recording in the financial yeah. ledgers in zero or QuickBooks or whatever they're using and maybe we don't go beyond that and I can remember the conversations I would have with this client were like well we can forecast out what's going in like when do you think your clients are going to pay you uh, what terms are they on and we would like maybe manually work this out in a spreadsheet and I give them a bit of a list of this is where the best guess I have right now of what I think is going to happen here it is that would be quite time consuming so what you're saying about this being automated is amazing um, and obviously you know there are lots of forecasting tools and all sorts of things out there but if you were in that position with a client at the moment and they said, okay, my VAT bill's coming up, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to pay it, how can you introduce a conversation to them about how you can support them? And what would that service look like as well? Like, What would yeah. you be offering them? So again, I think it goes back to planning, doesn't it? I think sometimes we come to a point where within a couple of days where we have got a cash flow problem, we don't know how to respond. And we're looking for that. As a business owner, you're looking for that immediate solution. So I think it's almost taking it back to basics um, and it's having the conversation earlier on if you can. So it's about creating or implementing best practices. So there's four key points that I would kind of um, advise bookkeepers to, to, to address. The number one is um, focus on debt or day reduction. If you if you're given your customers like 45, 60 day terms, that's a long, long time to extend credit for. Now, mm -hmm. if you on the other side are obviously like in this case, you said you're paying invoices out on day 30. There can be a huge there can be a 15, 30 day gap there that you need to try and fill. And it's almost irrelevant what the size of that gap is because it's the same stress, isn't it? You just have this gap. You may not have an overdraft facility that can that can help you. So one of one of the key things and one of the key approaches that we would advise bookkeepers to take is just look at the difference that reducing those debtor days by one day would make. You know, frame the conversation. Mm -hmm. So if you go onto the Satago blog now, we have what's called like a debtor day calculator. Use that as a tool to say. If these invoices were on 40 days versus 45, this would be X amount of cash that you'd have in your cash in your bank account right now, because it's about the value of money. The money is worth more in your bank account now than it is in those like extended mm -hmm. 15 days. So that would be the key thing. Um, and just understanding the difference of the reduction of those days, if you can present that in a very simple way to your customer, I think it can kind of resonate how important it is thinking about what those terms are. Um, mm -hmm. The second piece I, I would focus on, I think, is it's reviewing those credit terms. So again, if you use the Satago platform, we have a risk insight tool. And essentially what that tool will do, we'll pull through your debtor book, we'll analyze your debtor book in terms of risk, low, medium to high risk. 
and it's not in it doesn't reference i guess when the invoice is due it references the risk profile of the customer so if you again have a customer who's high risk if you put that customer on 60 days you know you're putting the the probability of them paying you well it it you know it 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 reduces doesn't it so you're kind of exposing yourself to the probability that they won't pay or that it'll be mm-hmm. extended so i guess the idea is that it's kind of prevention is better than cure understand who that customer is so within the Satago platform you just take the company number put it into the platform and it'll tell you the risk profile of that customer and then you can make an informed decision about whether you put them on cash or credit terms and if you do extend credit terms you do it in an informed basis and you know how it's going to impact your business because you've already understood kind of the the debtor day position and that how that impacts the business so those two pieces sit really well together I think a third obvious one again would be the credit control. So Satago offers automated credit control and it really is as simple as just pulling through the data from the accounting software, which the platform will do for you. Just making sure that the information from the invoice is matched up correctly with the entity. So that's called it's just called matching customers within the platform. Um and then all the templates are within the platform and you can decide the tone of the the reminder you can decide when that reminder goes out and um, all the templates are there and you can tailor those specifically to different customers because you may have a really good relationship with somebody so you don't want the tone to be too aggressive there might be mm-hmm. somebody else historically you've had issues with and you want to be very firm about the payment the payment structure etc so yep. there i would say the three key things um, all of those things will give the SME control over their business. It will give them visibility um, and it will help them be a little bit more relaxed about managing that cash flow. And this can all be done by a bookkeeper. I guess that's the, the simplicity of what Satago is and how easy it is to use. Um, and then, then I think that the, the fourth piece that we would recommend is make it easy for the customer to pay you. So I think regardless of what account and software you use now, um, most of them will have some sort of payment tool, be it Stripe, Go Cardless. Send those links with the invoice. So then you're encouraging that customer to pay. Um, and just by creating, I guess, those small, they're just small steps, but they can really influence the way that, that a customer engages with you, the way that they pay with you. And essentially you're creating best behavior. So if you look at those kind of four steps and you look at the way the bookkeeper sits within the business and, and what they do on a day to day, I think there's very clear um, this crossover I between, I think, what the, the, the bookkeeper would do in a day to day and also how they could implement a toggle, either as an outsourced offering or if they're an internal bookkeeper, just part of their day to day. And so I don't feel like there's a huge gap between those two. I think it's really interesting, the idea of adding credit control in as a service are yeah. you the bookkeepers you're working with at the moment are they are they then up leveling their service and offering them as a this is an add-on for some of their clients yeah i think um th- they're focusing on the credit control piece i think also if you i think a lot of people probably confuse or get overwhelmed by this idea of cash flow management and what does it mean um and i think it's really really important to be able to say the kind of cash flow credit control services they're not something to be almost intimidated by you know you can separate those out so we have a lot of customers that are just focusing on bookkeepers that are just focusing on the credit control and they are either including that in a in a fee that they charge or they're they're adding it on for just a small supplementary um fee so it's also a revenue generator i guess or it's um an additional offering so it's added value to the current kind of whatever your 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 relationship is with your your end customer so i think you can do either or since lockdown we've definitely seen an increase in the amount of bookkeepers that are coming to us to offer credit control as a service like so much so that we're launching a new product on april 6th so right after easter and it's this opportunity for um bookkeepers to be able to offer credit control specifically as an add-on to their existing offering for, for smes um, oh, that's really in- that's really interesting, and I think well, I mean there, there's so much that you've said there, but um, just picking up on the value that this adds to clients, yeah. and we talk all the time about adding additional value, and we get lots of questions in our group from people saying, you know, how can I like go from just just doing the bookkeeping to offering this more sort of an advisor role, and I think it's being able to do things like reduce the debt of days and give clients real visibility of what's happening and be able to send those like 
um, those chaser emails, just knowing the customer, just being better connected to the business and, and to the, the customers and just being able to um, be more effective in what you're doing. Yeah. But also there are a lot of things there where we can demonstrate in our like it actually even in the sales our sales process like if we're if you were writing the copy for your website or something you know if you've got a testimonial from someone and it says zoe was able to reduce my data days from 60 okay. days to 20 days or something or and put a value on what that means in terms of how much money they had in their bank account however many days earlier those are the really tangible bits of information that are really helpful in demonstrating your worth and showing how good you are at what you're doing and why you are standing out yeah. against other bookkeepers. Exactly. And I think that's part of what the Togo will also do as well. We will share with you some of the stats, I guess, that we've seen, particularly since COVID has hit, to make that more tangible. And by using something like the dead of day calculator, where you can actually really see the impact of just reducing those dead of days, which really is a simple thing to do, um, but it can have a huge impact on, on the business. And so if anything, I guess that the additional services this toggle gives, you're just rounding out the offering of the bookkeeper, but you're giving them the ability to, to generate another revenue service on one hand, or potentially just add, you know, added value to the additional kind of service that they provide as it stands. Um, and I just think that that's going to grow and there's going to be more, there's going to be based again, I guess, on what we're seeing in, in terms of users in, on this toggle platform. I think that's just going to increase for, for bookkeepers. Um, so it's a fantastic opportunity and it's a great time for bookkeepers to, to roll their services almost. Absolutely. When, and, you know, the time when everyone really is focused on cash flow in yeah. so much detail. Well, um, do you want to tell us about the product that's launching on the 6th of April? Yes. So are you allowed is, to? <laughs> you I mean, allowed? my marketing team will kill me, but I'll, I'll go for it. So <laughs> based on demand and based on, I guess, what we've seen happen with um COVID. So Togo was very much focused on getting businesses paid. So we actually launched a campaign last year that was called GBP, Get Businesses Paid. The idea behind that was that there is something like two and a half billion unpaid invoices in the UK economy. So if we can help SMEs to get those invoices paid, you're helping their cash flow, you're helping the economy, you're helping people return back to kind of pre, pre COVID almost. Um, and you're also taking the dependency from people to take out loans. Because, you know, maybe that's not an option for them because, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of restrictions, I guess, and what, well, different lenders will have different restrictions. And stuff. So the idea is if we can focus on getting those invoices paid, everybody will benefit from it. So the idea is April 6th, we're going to launch this credit control as a solution. Um, and it's very much focused on our practice audience. So accountants and bookkeepers. Um, based on demand, so we've taken, I guess, all the feedback that we've got from bookkeepers that are using the, the platform to date. Um, we've made some changes to the dashboard and we're just going to make it really easy for bookkeepers to offer credit control as a solution. And it's really as simple as they just connect the customer software to the platform. Um, they can do that first piece where we call the risk insights, where they're able to look at the entire debtor book for that customer and say to them, you know, maybe 25% of your customers are high risk. Let's look at how you're operating with them. Let's look at how your credit terms are with them. Um, mm -hmm. This is a great time to have a conversation with, with your end customer about the, the cash or credit terms that you're on. Um, we also notify of changes to the, the credit rating of that end customer. So again, great for a bookkeeper. That's another way to have a conversation with an SME. We've just noticed that X percentage of your debtors have checked their profile has gone from and a low, medium, high risk, we need to address mm -hmm. it. So there's lots of prompters, I would say, within the new version of the platform to help have those kind of meaningful conversations. Um, so that's kind of the first piece. And then obviously the second piece is this idea around the credit control. So there's two elements to the credit control piece, which is really good. The bookkeeper can use their own email. So it could be Zoe Whitman Bookkeepers Limited, and you're offered the credit control. There's no necessarily any reference to Satago, so it could you just mm -hmm. be enabling the solution, um, which again has proven really, really popular. This all happens within the platform, so there's no additional requirement for the, the bookkeeper to necessarily do anything. Um, everything is centralized within the platform, so we have our own with like a CRM where you can see communication between the end customer coming back in, maybe replying to the invoice maybe raising that's really that is yeah. really helpful to not lose that correspondence okay that sounds exactly. cool 
and it's all centralized mm -hmm. within the platform. So the idea is also that we'll support with the marketing material and the collateral to help the bookkeeper have those conversations, continue to have those conversations and really present credit control as a solution to their, their end customer. Um, yeah, so we're really excited to, to get that moving. Oh, it's really exciting. I think that this can really help. And I think it just it um, it gives bookkeepers something to talk to their clients about. We, we always sort of talk about starting conversations, the conversations that are going to help us to get to know our clients better and um, yeah. what's going on for them, what's around the corner. But actually being able to sit down and look at a dashboard with them and say, look, this is the risk profile you've got of your clients right now. We can very quickly help you tighten up your cash yeah. flow by changing the terms for these clients not worried about those but I'm worried about these ones specifically and then you can look at things like your debtor days and you can just have more of a strategy around it and your yeah. your client is they're going to be like wow I couldn't do this myself just using my accounting software so this exactly. is you know really healthy I think the main the main challenge I think is is this going to take a lot more time or how how automated are things and um just is it so, going to be something that the keepers can uh, yeah, we perhaps charge for as an extra service or build into what they're doing. Will they need to spend a lot more time on credit control, do you think? Yeah, so I think once you get the connection set up, the reality is no, because the credit control is automated. So I guess the big piece is like you um, you just mentioned, they're actually sitting down with the customer and saying, let's take the time to look at your debtors and let's look at how we could change this and how this could hugely impact your, you know, your cash flow. So I think there's this consultation piece at, at the start, but once they connect the software and you almost have like, you know, day zero, of this is the position of your debtor book, by making these small changes, we can see the improvements this is going to make. So I guess that's the first piece. Once you do that, thereafter, it's kind of automated. You know, all the templates are there. So we, not only do we have templates for chasing emails, but there's also remittance templates and thank you notes. You can set those up and tailor them specifically for the end debtor. And once that's done, that's it. Every time invoices, so it all go uploads every night. So automatically, so you don't need to do that. The bookkeeper doesn't need to do anything. Once those templates are in situ, those reminders will continue to go out until the invoice is marked paid in the software, which obviously mm -hmm. leads to just all go. And then the reminders stop. So literally the bookkeeper doesn't have anything to do once they set up those templates. So bar the initial kind of I guess conversation and maybe review with the debtor book when when they connect the software, it takes care of itself after that, um, and I think there's you know the, there's lots of benefits to it, but I I think having a dashboard like that, you know, the next time you want to have a conversation with your with the business, you're able to see the transition of the profile of the book because you can download the reports, so get okay. the business connected download those reports day one and then whenever you want to have their checkup or maybe you just want to come to conversation with them you're able to email them a report at the end of the month and say this is the shift in in your age debtors and um, this is the shift in the risk profile of your customers so Togo will give you all those prompters to allow you to have those conversations and so that's where I think it's quite meaningful as well so it really is than, and I'm yeah yeah right. I'm just thinking of all of our bookkeepers who are we talk all the time about like charging your worth and helping people see your value. And if you're struggling with that, if you have something really tangible like this with a report before and after that, where you can say, this is what I've done, you've actually got stats. Cause I think a lot of the time, well, we're numbers yeah. people. So we like yeah. to see a stat and if we can't actually see it, it's really hard to sort of have that belief. And I think this might be one of those things that's gonna give you that real confidence that, oh, I am actually making a massive difference for my clients and I can really see it. And my clients can see it too. The so, uh, and not only that they can see it in their bank account they can actually see yeah. the shift yeah. which is that's the most relevant thing isn't it it's like cash is king and you can physically yeah. see that cash in your account it speaks for itself um Absolutely. so it 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 you know it, it, in terms of an added value or even a, a service in its own right i think it's a great opportunity for a bookkeeper to really to to establish themselves and to differentiate themselves i guess from other bookkeepers um, yeah I, think I, agree. Awesome. I really think so absolutely and um, one of the other things I read about on Sotago's website is about invoice financing can you tell me I think this is maybe something that bookkeepers don't explore a lot of the time yeah. it doesn't come up in conversations in our group very much so I just wondered if you can explain how that works and how Sotago can support a business or bookkeepers with that 
Yeah, so I guess if you look at what Stago is, this kind of end-to-end -end cash flow management solution, you've got this profile where you understand your customer base, you've got the automated credit control to chase, chase those debts, but often even with those two kind of um, products in play, naturally there can be cash flow gaps. So the idea is uh, Satago offers single invoice finance. And really what that is, it's very much focused on um, filling those short term cash flow gaps. So it's really, really easy proposition. Like there's no, it's almost like you do, the bookkeeper doesn't need to be like a, a commercial finance advisor or an accountant to, to, to kind of recognize when a business has a cash flow gap or to recommend a solution like Satago. And I think that's the beauty of it. Um, if you look at the platform at any given time, once the accounting software is connected, you're able to see what eligible invoices are there for funding. And I guess the significance of this is the technology is so good, it will only ever present invoices that are there for the customer to fund. So if the bookkeeper is having a conversation with, with their SME and they're worried about a VAT bill, it's very easy to say, Look, you've got X amount available of eligible invoices. Why don't you talk to us at all? So all you're, you, what you're doing, I guess, is you don't have to know invoice finance and inside out. You don't have to be the advisor. There's no regulatory piece that you need to be aware of. It's just that you're able to facilitate a conversation with an expert. You're able to connect that end customer to somebody like Satago. Um, I guess in terms of how single invoice finance works, it's 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 really really simple. Again, because we connect into the accounting software, we will risk profile profile all of your customer base so all of those invoices we will only present invoices to you that we think that we can fund um and it's almost like filling up an amazon basket you just click on the invoices that you want to fund it goes into our system and the computer says yes or no but at that point because a lot of the pre-screening is done it's really really simple um if i were to look at why you would use invoice financing versus any mm. other terms of lending because i think that's what people they wouldn't you know it's it's why invoice financing and why not a loan i think the beauty mm. and the, the the positive about invoice financing is that um it's easy to use it's very much filling a short-term gap there are no long-term commitments so it's not like a loan um it doesn't incur the same fees that maybe an overdraft would have the way that Satago operates is that it charges one transparent fee. So if you fund an invoice this month, you'll get charged a daily rate. You don't have to use Satago again for invoice financing for life. It could be, you know, six, 12 months, whatever it is down the line. So there's no commitment for you to continue to use Satago. So from that perspective, mm -hmm. it's easy to use. Pricing is really transparent um, and there's no long term commitments. So I'm thinking don't... if you sometimes um, if small businesses have a contract with a large organization a local authority yeah. or that kind of public sector organization who kind of do their own thing when they want to um yeah. and you know when you invoice someone you're like my terms are seven days but then the uh whoever you're contracting with is like that's all very well but we will not be paying this for 60 days because that's our process and that's how we do it and because you're the sort of small fish you haven't got the you just haven't got the power to say well actually no my this is my terms because they've probably made you sign their contract and you know all of yeah. that kind of stuff so if you're in that kind of position this is where I see it potentially fits in would you agree exactly. with that? that's a hundred percent it's it's that gap between money like issuing your invoices the money coming in and then also your own creditors that you need to pay that are probably putting you under pressure to pay so it's it's very much that short-term piece and you, like you're completely spot on in terms of it's larger corporates that they will dance to their own tune almost they have a payment run at the end of the month so it doesn't really matter what i've worked in them is. i've worked yes. in those organizations yeah. i know how it works <laughs> we, we we won't name names but yeah i have also worked in them and it's almost like the the the, the invoice you did is just like well whatever so this is exactly where something like um photographers invoice financing can fit really really nicely um, and also the thing is it doesn't create a dependency. Often if you're borrowing money over the long term, you come to rely on it. So toggle or invoice financing doesn't do that. It's literally one invoice for that duration. You never have to do the same invoice again. Like there's no commitment to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I think people need that flexibility also. Yeah, this is, I mean, it sounds really helpful and it sounds like um, something that um, it would be really helpful for a lot of Abbott keepers to explore just I can't help going back to that part about understanding your value and being able to demonstrate to your clients yeah. 
the value you're adding to their business and just really supporting them. Like, this isn't just saying, here's a cash flow forecast. This is, okay, we know where your cash flow forecast is. Let's do something about it. And here's something that I can actually do for you. And I'll be able to give you some results in a month's time to show you what I've done. Uh, yeah. So I really like um, that that could fit in. Um, how can how can bookkeepers find out about Satago if they want to find out a bit more? So the website is satago.com, S-A-T-A-G-O.com. Um, also, my email address is Sinead, S-I-N-E-A-D, at satago.com. So just drop me a message or, you know, we've got live web chat. We've got the phone number. Just contact one of the team. But, or, you know, like no problem contacting me directly because um, oh. we are registered and interested at the moment for this kind of credit control as a solution. So it's uh, ready to go very quickly. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on to speak to us about it. I look forward to finding out more about the launch in April. Um, I think we, we've, we're up to time, so I'm going to wrap up. Just um, if you're listening to this and you're a bookkeeper and you don't know about what we do, the best place to connect with us is in the Six Figure Bookkeepers Club, which is our free group on Facebook. Next week, starting on the 22nd of March, we're going to be running a week long event. It's called Bookkeepers Bootcamp. We're going to be talking to you about growing your confidence. I think that fits in really well with what we've been talking about today. Um, but we're going to be looking at building your confidence. We've got lots of guest speakers coming to join us. We're going to be live in the Facebook group a couple of times a day on most days. And actually, Thursday is going to be mega. We've just been talking about having an extra guest. So there is loads coming up. The best place to find out about that, and it's all completely free, is in um, is on our website. So if you go to sixfigurebookkeeper.com slash bootcamp, you'll be able to register to make sure you get all of the updates about the events that are happening. And we'll see you next week for another podcast. Thanks, Sinead. Bye. Thank you, Zoe. Take care.